Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what else you want to talk about? Uh, I can go anywhere you like. Packers is, defense. You know, I got a long email. I mean, long email. Those are the best, aren't they? <laughs> Single spaced, filled with good points, and where reading it will take twenty minutes, right? Hey. Just reading it once through will take twenty minutes. Now, uh, th- this is I, I don't mind these emails because it shows you that somebody is really digging in and doing some some work and some research. Uh, Chris Brophy sent me this email, and the piece is by, I want to give the guy credit without unnecessarily pumping him up. Uh, he says his friend, uh, it's from a blog, Brew City Sports, and it tries to break down just how flimsy the Packers' defense may or may not be. It's on the front page of the USA Today this morning. You know, our yeah. defense. What is? The our, defense? Our defense? Yeah, there's a Clay Matthews picture there. and you What's know. it say by the picture? Uh, Clay Matthews. On the front page, above the fold. On the front page, above the fold? Yeah, on the top. On the headline? The, uh, yeah, what's it the say? The headline of the story. Yeah. Uh, back of pack D faces playoff test. Well, oh, that's not that incriminating. Should by the say. way, get a little tip to uh, young enterprising writers. When you put together something like this, don't hide your name and don't hide from credit because I'm trying to find who it, Bub's brother is all I've got listed as the author of this piece. <laughs> Anyhow, it's an exhaustive piece in which they try to calculate how many yards were, were produced after the so-called dagger in the game delivered by the Packers' offense. Oh, so so meaningless yards. Yards that they just want, it doesn't matter, the game is yeah. over. Okay, like a late like, score. Like, for example, okay. I mean, the first game against the Saints, you guys went up 42-27 with 11.52 remaining in the fourth. It's a pretty wide margin. We all remember the game got close at the very end, way too nervously close. I've had people say to me that that seemed to be a little artificial, like, really? Got that close? But I'm, NFL's not the WWE. Uh, in week two against the Panthers, the dagger was the 84-yarder to Jordy Nelson, 226 remaining. Then the uh, Panthers were allowed to go on an 83-yard drive for a touchdown. Garbage. Week three against the Bears, Dagger, Rodgers 10-yard TD to Finley, Packers up 27-10 with 12.49 to go in the fourth. Couple of uh, yeah, piddling drives after that, not much. Week four against the Broncos, Rodgers 8-yard touchdown scramble, Packers up 35-17 with 8.26 left in the third. A lot of garbage after that. Week five against the Falcons, Daggers, uh, Dagger, Rogers, 29-yard touchdown to Jennings, pack up 22-14. That's not much. Not much. And there wasn't much garbage yards in that one. Week six against the Rams, Rogers to driver, 151 left in the second, Packers up 24-0. That game had a lot of, lot of fluff in it. Agreed? 24 nothing in the second. on the Rams well, yeah. at halftime. That was, uh, that was our... What was that? Did we gain the – there was a weird number with that. It was like our easiest win, but we gained our least amount of yardage or something like that. Or Right. It was really kind of an oddball thing. Sure. Uh, week 7, Vikings. Dagger, Mason Crosby, field goal after the INT. Packers up 30-17. to 17, 318 left in the third. There should be no garbage yards in division games. Those should just be crush-a-thons. <laughs> I could go on and on. In a perfect world, yeah. Yeah. So are you saying that our but, defense that, 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 that could be skewed or it's a little misleading? Uh, the totals of garbage time yards and points, according to this post, 1,862 yards and 109 points allowed. If you take those numbers out entirely, you get 4,700 yards allowed, 250 points allowed, good for fourth and third overall. Similar to last year's totals, which ranked you guys fifth and second. I tell now, you what, when we're yeah, at, I don't I think sat you and watched take... those games. I sat yeah. and watched those games being played, and it didn't look like the defense was playing any harder or any less hard uh, during the course of the game. Okay, but if you take was. 
Now, just taking all those yards out and all those points out is not realistic. Uh, if you take half the totals, then the defense would rank 18th in yard and 5th in points surrendered. I don't think it's as bad as you think, Bob. Well, I've sat and I watched, agree with I've, this post. But I I've don't sat think and watched these bad. games, and in the second